Hello guys, welcome back to my channel VFX Expert. So guys, in this today's class, we are going to see how to export camera track from PF track to Blender. So let's start the class here. So now we are inside PF track here and this have a sort here. So this sort just I have tracked inside this PF track and also just I have oriented over this scene inside PF track. So how to track this sort inside PF track video I have already created, link I have given in description. So now just I am going to export this camera track from PF track to Blender. So simply just we have to take a export node and just we have to connect after this test object node. Then we have to connect with this one, then we have to double click. Then in this format, just we have to select this option, Calada DAE. Then after this, we have to click on this file name option and just select your folder where you want to save this file. So just I am going to select maybe this folder, whichever this cam file. And downside, just we have to give a file name. So simply just you can give any name or by default this will take name from this footage. Now just we have to click on save. Then finally we have to click on export scene. So export succeeded. Then after this before importing this camera track inside Blender we have to also check some footage information. For this is frame size which is 1080. Then frame rate 25 fps. This is pixel aspect ratio. And also just we have to check the starting frame which is start from 1. And this is end frame which is 151. So now I'm inside Blender. So now we are inside Blender. So first we have to do some setting inside Blender. So simply just we have to click on this output property. Frame size which is 1080. Pixel aspect ratio. And also this frame rate. So just we have to select this 25 fps. And this frame rate which is start from 1 to 151 frame. Then after this we have to delete all these default items. Now press A and you delete. Now we have to click on file, then click on this import. And just we have to select this Calada options and just select file which just we have exported from PF track. So this is our file which just I have exported from PF track. So simply just we have to select and just we have to click on import Calada file. So now here if you will see, so simply just I have imported over this PF track tracking data inside Blender. Now downside if you will see this is our timeline here and just I have selected up this camera keyframes here. So now if you will check this animation. So this is going to start from frame the 0. So just you can see. So just we have to offset this entire animation from frame 1. So simply just we have to select all these keyframes. And just we can offset from 1. So now just you can see this one here. Then we have to click on this camera view. So now just you can see, so simply just type imported over this PF track camera tracking data inside Blender. Now after this just I am going to import our image plane or background plate here. Then after this we have to open over this main scene group or node group. Then we have to select this camera and downside we have to click on this camera option. Then we have to click on this import background plate, open this one, click on add image, movie clip, open this one and just select your image sequence. So this is our image sequence so just we have to select all frame now press A or just simply you have to select the starting frame then hold shift and just select last frame. Now we have to click on open clip. So now here just type imported over this image plate or background plate here. Now just you can see even just simply click on this overlay option and, and just untick this relationship line. So just only we will see all these locators here and these geometry which just I have created inside PF track. Now just we have to play and just check. So now if you will see so simply just type imported over this PF track camera tracking data inside Blender. Then after which just I am going to create a test object. Now just go to this orthographic view. Just I am going to create a 3D model then we have to click on add. Then mesh and just create a cube. Now press tab then press G, Z and just we have to snap on this grid. Now again we have to press tab, now press S and scale down. Now just check through this perspective view and also just we have to check through this camera view. So just you can see this is our cube. Simply select this one, press G, then press Y and just move in Y axis maybe. And just hide all these PF track proxy geometry. So simply just hide all these things here. 
so maybe keep this one here now just we have to play and just we have to check so now just you can see so simply just i place this 3d object inside blender and this is just moving or whatever this camera movements here so now after this or before creating your any 3d object suppose if one you can also orient your scene inside blender so for this again just we have to click here and just you can see this one here and just we have to select this main scene group now simply just you have to press r and just you can rotate your entire scene in x or y even in g axis and just properly just you can orient your scene so just a little bit just i am going to orient this one here so now simply press r then press y and in y axis you just have to rotate so just you can see even press r then press x so even in x axis also just you can rotate so like this simply if you want you can also orient your scene inside blender so simply just you have to select this main scene group then simply you can press r then you can press y or x and simply just you can orient your scene now just you can see So now after this, just I am going to create a ground plane or a grid here. Then we have to click on Add, then Mesh, and just take this grid. Now just look through this wireframe mode. So easily just we can see and just we can scale this grid according to your requirements. Now press S and just scale this one here. Now just simply, if you want, you can just select this main scene group. Now press R and just rotate in G axis. So now just you can see. So just I placed over this ground plane inside Blender. Now just little bit just we have to scale this grid. Now just we have to look through this camera view so just you can see. Now just we have to play and just change. So guys you can also orient your scene inside blender then after this you can import any 3d objects and just you can place into this scene here. And remaining things, see the orientation, all these things, just you can adjust according to your requirements here. So, guys, till here I have completed for this class. So, if you like this video, please watch, share, comment, and subscribe my channel if you are still not subscribed my channel. So, thanks for watching.